welcome uh, to Parents Night here uh, that we're doing virtually. And this is my block three uh, CP Comp course, CP Composition English course, 12th grade here at Penn Manor. My name is Mr. Herzog and I am your son or daughter's teacher. And uh, while we certainly can't meet in person, I'll be showing you a way to get a hold of me so that we can set up a time to do a Google Meet sometime in the future. Uh, if you'd like to talk to me more one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, other than that, this is really going to be an overview of the course, an overview of how your students see the course, and then there'll be a chance, again, for you to contact me if you need to contact me. Um, this year is a little bit weird. We're still planning on covering all the material. We just may not be able to be quite as thorough with it, only because we're meeting with students twice a week, and then virtually, and then another two days remotely. That being said, the fact that it's happening during this this year, uh, while we're doing um, English composition, composition allows itself the ability to be done outside of class and to be done remotely. And so I feel like it does work well into it. So let me give you a quick overview of the course, and then we'll get into the actual classroom. I'm going to show that to you. So first, this is English composition. So it's CP, college prep, and that means I'm preparing your son or daughter for college. Not everyone in this class may be going to college, but we treat it as if it is. So one of the first things we start with is through our narrative unit, we start with the college application essay. And this is an important, an important piece of writing for your son or daughter. And the reason it is, is for many colleges, when you apply to them, they get a list of the application, maybe a resume of all the activities your son or daughter has been involved with. However, what really makes them come alive is this essay. Because in this essay, it's, it's a chance for them to see qualities that can't be demonstrated in a resume. So, for example, maybe there was a, a, a extremely hard time for your family or maybe for them personally that they had to persevere and, and push through. This is something that would look good on a college because there's college is not always easy, right? Um, and so, uh, or maybe there's a time where they overcame a huge obstacle or they traveled to another country, maybe a third world country like Haiti, and that taught them something about themselves. Or, or maybe they serve the community by helping out the elderly in the community. And this shows a, an element of compassion. Universities, universities want to hear that story. And in this class, we're going to help them to tell that story. After we get done with the college application essay, which we're going to work on and revise and do all, all that, uh, after we get done with that, we're going to move ahead into beginning to develop the skills needed to write a research paper. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it that when you go to college, one of the things you're going to have to do is write a research paper, uh, no matter what course of study you are. So we're going to cover the various modes of research: APA, Chicago style, MLA. MLA is heavily favored by English, but a lot of students go into other sciences uh, like psychology, history. Uh, math oriented stuff and they use different citations like APA and Chicago style. We're going to teach them that and this is going to culminate in a research paper that we're going to start probably the middle of October that will run us into December and this will we'll take time to develop it, flesh it out and they'll be able to use the citation method that most aligns to what they think they're going to be studying in college. And, uh, and then in the end, they will go on through the research process and get the skills needed to go to college. All right. So that's an overview of kind of where the course is headed. So beyond that, we do a little bit of vocabulary. And we do so, and, and we, we especially study argumentation or rhetoric, something that's going to be fascinating to look at as we go through the election because politicians' speeches are filled with this stuff. So we're going to examine the rhetoric of, of politicians, and it's always something I enjoy doing, you know, through election years. Uh, but beyond that, that's really the course. Uh, we'll have some projects, not a lot of collaborative because of the nature of everything, uh, but that's it. So let me go ahead and show you the classroom. So the hub of my classroom, both in person and in the remote learning, is my Google Classroom. In fact, every day I'm going to be sending students here 
in the event we were to go all remotely, we'll kind of have a plan in place for that. And what students will do is they'll hop over to the classwork section of this course. And you'll see stuff like mandatory remote learner attendance. Basically, your son or daughter gets credit for attending school on the day she's not here by logging into the mandatory remote learner attendance. And so we judge attendance by this and also by the remote activities that I'm having them do. Uh, none of them are very long. They will take a little bit of time, but certainly no more time than they would be spending in school if they put their mind to it. And don't get too distracted, which is always a possibility. Um, beyond that, as I scroll down through my course, which I believe you will have access, you'll get like a guardian overview of the course. And I'll show you another way to get updates as far as deadlines, uh, as far as when assignments are due, which will help keep your student on track. Um, other than that, we have a student support section. And this will uh, at least uh, deal with uh, tech support, counseling sessions, getting organized, and so on. Um, this how to, they also have a how-to website that's in the wrong place, but I'm going to move it up here then because I'm recording this before the class really goes live. And then we have an introduction to Mr. Herzog. Again, I'm not going to really introduce myself. I've been teaching you know, here at Penn Matter 20 years, a uh, total of 24 years. Uh, but this is something that would introduce me to them. And also an introduction for my student teacher, Miss Myers. I won't play that for you. Uh, but if you want to see it, I can send it to you. My contact information, and this is what I want to kind of pause at a little bit. So we use a program called Ramai, right? And uh, so what I want to do is I want to open this up, and, I'm, and you can pause this video, but I'll also place this information at the end of the video for you to, for you to look at. Ramai is an application in which we put due dates, and they get text message to students about a day before they're due. They'll say, hey, remind you, tomorrow this is due by midnight. So if you want to get those reminders, you too can sign up by either pumping in this address, uh, this URL, into a browser or by texting uh, to number 81010, the, and you need to text at FA20CPCOM. And that'll get you, that means fall 20 CP comp, uh, that'll get you into the class. It might ask you if you're a parent or a student. You'll go in as a student and uh, if, if it doesn't give you the parent option. And then you'll get all the text messages that the students receive. So that way you can kind of keep on top of them, especially in this little crazy world. Other than that, you can always call me. And this is my phone number right here. And my email address, scott.herzog at penmatter.net. And that will also get you the information you need. Other than that, there's some useful classroom links. Uh, this sends you to other places like the library, uh, high school information. The syllabus is here. And there's a classroom side in and side out. This is how they're going to log in and out of the class to like move around the class. Um, other than that, we jump in. They do have a summer reading book. Now, fortunately for them, the summer reading, we don't get to, to October. So if they didn't do summer reading, uh, we'll be getting to in October. They have some time. They do need to do it. And it needs to be any fiction book in grade level that they need to make sure that they are doing and making sure that they read. All CP courses at Penn Matter in the English department require summer have required summer reading as well as any honors or AP courses. Right? So this is, this is it. Uh, and then we have six word memoirs. This is kind of what we did the first week. And this gives you an idea how the class is set up both in class to say, hey, we're doing this stuff when we're in class and remote that we're doing this stuff when we're, we're remote. And that's, uh, that's basically it. That's the way the course is structured and uh, should give you a pretty good overview as to, as, as to how the course really lays out. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to text message me through Remind. Uh, or email me through scott.hertzsocket.net. You can use the same contact information to set up a virtual meet and greet to meet me in person sometime and just message me and we'll kind of uh, arrange a time at that. All right. Uh, it's good chatting with you all. Enjoy your evening.